Cody Brown's set to make a positive comeback next season? Redemption Story Sister Wives star Cody Brown has made many mistakes in the past. He appeared toxic, male chauvinist, and narcissistic. TLC paints him as the biggest villain in the family, one who never respects his wives and children. Cody joined the series to feature his large polygamous family on TV screens. But he became one of the most hated celebrities in the reality TV world. He neglected his children and other wives during the years. Cody became distant from his older kids and became the best dad for his favorite wife's kids. However, the family went through the most tragic phase recently after Garrison's death. The network hasn't shared anything about season 19. So fans are speculating about whether TLC will give Cody a chance to redeem his mistakes in the next season. Will season 19 be Cody's redemption for the past troubles? The Brown family has been going through the toughest phase since Garrison's death. The entire family came under the same roof to honor their beloved members' memories. Sister wives star Cody and Janelle had the most messy split, and they never wanted to face each other again. But the exes crossed paths again and shared the ache in their hearts after losing their son. Cody was seen sitting in a devastated state at his son's funeral pictures. Previously, The Sun also reported that Cody has been depressed and confined himself in a dark place after losing his son. The TLC star hasn't made any public appearance since the family tragedy. Some fans started assuming that TLC might give Cody a chance to redeem his mistakes in the upcoming season. The network has not shared any updates about the filming of season 19. But viewers have been curious to find out if Cody will let the network portray him as the family villain. They think that the family tragedy has given the network a chance to polish Cody's reputation. Still, it would require a lot of effort from the TLC star to change the narrative. He needs to show concern toward his older children and apologize to his ex-wife. The reality TV celebrity has degraded his reputation due to his bitterness and narcissistic behavior. Hence, he needs to pull down a lot of work to regain his reputation and become a hero. Further, it depends entirely on how much Cody and the other members would let the network film the family tragedy. Will Cody Brown reconcile with older kids? Sister Wives star Cody Brown lost his beautiful and large polygamous family because of his ego and narcissism but the TLC star's favoritism towards his fourth wife and her children ruined everything. The last few seasons have been filled with non-stop drama and controversies. Eventually, all three wives left Cody and moved on with their lives. Cody's cold and absent behavior towards his kids also impacts his bond with them. Moreover, the family recently reunited at Garrison's farewell. Now, the fans are wondering if the family dynamics changed even a bit. They speculate about whether Cody would reconcile with his older kids and make an effort to give them the love they deserve. Why fans think Robin Brown lied about Nanny having COVID? Sister Wives star Robin Brown is facing a new issue after getting caught in another big lie that she allegedly made years ago. The 45-year-old has been facing criticism for manipulating Cody into making decisions that only benefit her and her children. However, some Redditors think she took matters into her own hands when she began to lose grip over the family during the pandemic. Keep reading to see a shocking discussion. How's Robin Brown today? Robin remains inactive on her social media accounts despite the tragic loss of the Brown family in March. The Sister Wives star appeared at Garrison's funeral with Cody on her side, which became a huge controversy as some people believe the Brown family patriarch was supposed to sit next to the grieving mom, Janelle. Many fans are still upset about what happened to the Brown family since moving to Flagstaff, but some Redditors think Robin played a significant role in their struggles. Some also called her out for distancing her family from the Brown family, neglecting the purpose of polygamy. Why fans think Robin lied about Nanny having COVID? Some Sister Wives fans on Reddit discussed the possibility that Robin Brown lied about her nanny having COVID. 
According to the poster, they were watching an old episode about Ariella's birthday where everyone had to test so they could celebrate as a family. However, Robin claimed that her nanny tested positive for COVID, and the Reddit user thought it was a terrible lie. The poster speculated that it was Robin's way to create distance in the family. No one else spoke to the nanny or witnessed the conversation. The first thing Robin said on the VT was along the lines of, well, I guess that's the end of us all getting together again. It's too dangerous, the poster added. Others agreed with the speculation and believed that the fourth wife of Cotty would do anything she could to break the family apart. Some also mentioned how suspicious it was for the nanny to get sick during that time. I don't know whether the nanny actually had COVID, but it seems pretty suspicious to me. They had a big party for Ariella, and then immediately had to isolate again. If the nanny really had COVID, circumstances just happened to hand Cotty and Robin exactly what they wanted. It seems more likely to me that they lied about it. If the nanny had just been exposed to it, I believe that more. She actually had it and was coming over, supposedly working one-on-one -on -one with the children and everyone tested negative. Seems unlikely. The problem is liars are going to lie, but once in every 10 years they tell the truth. However, because they are liars, no one believes them. I personally call bees and think it's more slow than lies, but who really knows? Robin Brown still distancing her kid from the Brown family. Some Sister Wives fans also believe that Robin is still doing her antics of separating her own family from the rest. This comes after Robin arrives at Garrison's funeral without any of her kids. Another Reddit thread also discussed the absence of Robin Brown's children during the sad family gathering. Some felt bad about the kids being sheltered by their mom while grieving the loss of their stepbrother. Did any of Robin's kids attend Garrison's memorial? I don't see any of them in any of the pictures. Robin shelters her children from everything and anything remotely uncomfortable. There's no way she would let any of them go. I feel like her kids need actual help. Sister Wives Mary Brown shares what she is looking for in a partner. Sister Wives star Mary Brown isn't letting her past love life deter her from looking for love. The TLC star, who split from longtime husband Cody Brown as well as her most recent beau, is back on the market and dating once again. Brown recently split from her now ex-boyfriend Amos in February, sharing with fans that she had to face some hard truths. Now, it appears Mary has bounced back from her breakup and knows exactly what she is looking for in a partner. Mary Brown has no regrets. On April 29th, Mary shared a small video clip of a recent interview that she does not have regrets when it comes to her marriage. Mary shared that never anticipated a divorce was in my future. She went on to add, I don't regret my marriage and I don't regret my divorce. In the clip, the sister wives also broke the news that she is dating someone, but it is just casual for now. The 53-year-old went on the share what she is looking for in a man. Sister Wives, spoilers, Brown knows what she wants in a partner. No, I'm looking for a king. There's a bit of an energetic difference there. A prince is still a boy. I want a man who knows who he is. Regarding qualities she looked for, she mentioned self-confidence and an emotional match to this stage of her life. I want somebody who knows who he is and is confident in who he is. She explained, because I know who I am and I'm confident in who I am and I need somebody who can match my energy. When we cross paths, we'll know it. Mary Brown dating again on the prowl for a man who knows who he is. I'm looking for a king. Following her breakup with Amos Andrews, Mary Brown has re-entered the dating pool. The Sister Wives star went public with her and Amos's relationship in January 2024, only to announce their split one month later. Since then, Mary has been lying low, focusing on her bed and breakfast, Lizzie's Heritage Inn, as well as her clothing business, Lularo. Now that Mary is single again, Sister Wives fans are curious whether she's opened the door to dating once again. During a recent queue, 
and a session on Instagram, Mary opened up about her love life and revealed that she's still searching for her Prince Charming. Mary, 53, recorded herself to answer Google's top questions about herself. And unsurprisingly, Sister Wives viewers wanted to know if she is dating again. When asked, is Mary dating anyone? The former polygamist responded, not exclusively. Mary Brown says she is looking for a king, not Prince Charming. I have gone out on a few dates, Mary admitted, adding that Prince Charming has not arrived. However, Mary noted that she's not looking for a prince. I'm looking for a king, Mary declared before explaining why she's not interested in a prince. There is a bit of an energetic difference there. A prince is still a boy. I want a man who knows who he is. I want somebody who knows who he is and is confident in who he is, cause I know who I am and I'm confident in who I am and I need somebody to match my energy, Mary proclaimed. In fact, Mary is confident that when she meets the right man, it'll be clear as day. When we cross paths, we'll know it, Mary concluded. Mary's remarks about wanting a king and not a prince as her significant other resonated with many of her followers, who flocked to the comments section to agree with her statements. Sister Wives fans agree that Mary deserves a king because she's a queen. Yes, girl a king, echoed at Lilith Wintwell. Another one of Mary's fans added, I love that I'm looking for a king you go sister. At Scout's Labrador Adventures added, you deserve a king because you're a queen. Mary jokes about being Cody Brown's favorite wife. Mary continued her cue and a series on Instagram and in her fourth edition, she was asked whether she was the favorite wife in her once polygamous marriage to Cody Brown. Mary found the question amusing and didn't supply her fans with an answer to the question. Instead, she laughed and rolled her eyes, joking, okay then. However, on an upcoming episode, just kidding. But most Sister Wives fans would agree that Mary was certainly not Cody's favorite wife. Cody basically came out and admitted that his fourth wife, Robin Brown, has been his favorite for years and the two got their wish, living happily ever after with no other wives in tow. What happened to Garrison Brown's cats after his tragic death? They found forever homes. Sister Wives star Garrison Brown tragically died in March 2024, leaving behind three cats. Were the cats able to find their new forever homes? Garrison Brown's beloved cats, Patches, Kathy and M's Boots have found new homes with family members like Logan and Michelle. The Browns are mourning the loss of Garrison in their own ways, from planting trees to turning to retail therapy to honor his memory. Sister Wives fans show approval for the beautiful way the cats are being cared for, continuing Garrison's legacy. The Sister Wives universe is still reeling from the tragic death of 25-year-old Garrison Brown, and now there is an update on the cats he left behind. Garrison was one of Cody Brown's 18 children and the son of Cody's second wife, Janelle Brown. The young National Guardsman had been struggling with his mental health. After receiving some concerning texts from her troubled son, Janelle sent her other son, Gabriel Brown, to check on his brother. It was Gabriel who found Garrison dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound at his Flagstaff, Arizona home. Garrison is survived by his father, four mothers, 18 siblings, and three cats. Garrison's beloved cats, Patches, Cathew, and M's Boots, had lost their devoted father. The Sister Wives season 18 star was a cat lover and would have wanted his cats to be well taken care of. Out of love for Garrison, Janelle and the other Browns were determined to put the cats in good forever homes which is no easy task with three cats. Read on to find out where Cathew, Patches, and M's Boots are now living. Robert Garrison Brown was born on April 10, 1998. Until he was about 12 years old, he lived in Utah, in a large house with his father, mother, his father's other wives, and his 12 siblings. In 2010, Cody married his fourth wife, Robin Brown, 
and eventually, the number of brown children swelled to 18. Many of Cotty's older children often felt neglected by their father, especially as they grew up, and this led to many resentments. Things got even worse when the COVID-19 pandemic divided the family even further. Cotty and Robin Brown were very fearful of the virus and enacted very strict mitigation rules. When Garrison and Gabriel couldn't follow the rules, Cotty cut them off. Cotty demanded that Janelle kick her sons out of the house, but she refused, which triggered her eventual decision to divorce Cotty. With his family divided and reeling from the pandemic, Garrison's mental health deteriorated. According to his roommates, he had even been drinking heavily. Janelle tried to help her son, but it was too late. The Brown family will never fully recover from the tragic loss of their beloved son and brother. Cody will be especially devastated because he wasn't even speaking to his son at the time of his death. Everyone mourns in their own different way, and the Browns are no exception. They have each had their own way of grieving and honoring Garrison. Janelle mourned by spending time with her other children and starting a small business to help keep her distracted. Cotty's third wife, Christine Brown, and her children recently planted a tree in honor of what would have been Garrison's birthday. Garrison's siblings have posted in his memory, made sure his cats found good homes, and kept his memory alive in many ways. For his birthday, Cotty and Robin were seen at Caesars Palace Mall in Las Vegas, drowning their sorrows in retail therapy. Sister Wives, he's in 19 is sure to follow the Browns as they continue to mourn their unimaginable loss. Garrison's cats have new homes, family ties. After Garrison's tragic death, some Sister Wives fans wondered what would become of his cats, Kathy, Patches, and Em's boots. In April 2024, Janelle posted a kitty update to Instagram. The post features a carousel of cat photos, along with a caption that reads, Garrison's cats, Kath Yu and Patches are thriving at Logan and Michelle's place and M's Boots is living her best life with Aspen and Mitch. It was awesome that we could continue to take care of them like he would. The carousel includes photos of all three cats in their new homes. Taking care of Garrison's cats is a beautiful way to stay connected to him. Cat-loving Sister Wives fans took to the comment section to register their universal approval of the cat's new homes. What a beautiful way to continue Garrison's legacy, wrote one person, while another said, I am so happy to hear Garrison's cats are living their best lives with the family. When one fan asked why Ms. Boots had been separated from Kathy and Patches, Someone answered, the other cat had just been adopted and likely hadn't bonded yet.